Hey guys, welcome back to another Ray video today. Today's video, I want to give you guys more Sand Devils Necropolis content. I, I've been test my, uh, I've been testing my team for a couple hours today. I made a video yesterday showcasing a team featuring a uh, Hellhound. So yeah, I, I elaborate on this team a little bit more. I'm gonna show you guys a screenshot here. All right, look at this, stage 25. All right, three minutes and 30 seconds with one common champion Hellhound and one uncommon champion Arminger. I would say this team is pretty free to play friendly well probably not free to play friendly but low spending friendly i will say right this is stage 25 with a decent speed right it's not the best team in the world but i'm gonna show you guys this team in this video all right uh if you guys haven't checked out the video from yesterday on my channel you can give it uh give a look take a look right the only difference is i replaced uh, Septimus with Arminger, and I can give you guys a conclusion right away. Septimus is an absolute garbage. <laughs> That's a very crucial truth towards Septimus, right? If we take a look at skill kit of Septimus, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, Septimus. For example, this Septimus here. I mean, this is an enemy max HP skill, but it can only do 10% damage. Uh, 10% boss max HP damage, right? And it has four turns cooldown. Four turns cooldown. That's why I've been putting a reflex set on this Septimus. And if we take a look at Arminger, like this skill is pretty much the same, right? It has much less multiplier, that's for sure. But I mean, with some decent gear, you can still do 10% of boss max HP. And it's a two turns cooldown. That's why, like, like I said, this skill has much less multiplier. That's why I'm using a savage set to give him more damage to make sure she, uh, he can reach the, the maximum potential of his A2, right? And you don't have to use a reflex set because it's already two turns cooldown, right? It's just better than Septimus. Straight up, it's better than Septimus. And uh, the only dis disadvantage of Arminger is he's an uncommon champion, so there's no faction guardian. Uh, Right, but Faction Guardian probably, um, it's not gonna apply to every player because you're still gonna have duplicates. So if you have full legendary Faction Guardian, you're gonna get 10 extra speed and a lot of extra stats. So it's actually much easier to build them, all right? So for Arminger, you do need kind of like a very, very good gear because on the stage 25, the boss speed is 270, right? And if you use a Duchess, Duchess has a 19% speed aura you can build Arminger like 240 something and it will be faster than the boss. So it will take some type of uh, type of good gear, right? Because I'm gonna showcase stage 25. If you guys are not doing stage 25 and you want to use this team, if you want to use this team uh, in lower stages, it works perfectly fine. Uh, and you can have much, much uh, lower stats requirement. And if, uh, if we take a look at my Duchess, sorry, I'm trying to find my champion here. My Duchess here, uh, just in a stone skin set. I think 200 speed is going to be enough. Just make sure Duchess is tanky, and that's it. And then we come to our Raiho, a very, very popular champion for uh, Sand Devils Necropolis. Just high speed, high accuracy. And one thing I think you should do is uh, try not to build too much HP for this dungeon, because every time boss hit you, uh, he's going to reduce 10% of your current max HP. That's how it works. So really no need to build super high HP. Try to give her more, more defense stats. And then we have Valkyrie uh, here in a poison set Valkyrie. Again, very fast. Right? And poison set doesn't need um, accuracy. Right? So that's the Valkyrie build in a poison set. And uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that... On my Arminger, I'm actually not using uh, Warmaster because Warmaster this counts as an extra hit, right? And I feel like getting Warmaster is just gonna cost extra RNG. You never know what's gonna happen, so I want to get rid of RNG. I don't want any RNG. That's why uh, all five champions on this team here, all five champions here, none of them are using Warmaster. The damage is gonna be enough, so I'm not really worried about damage. And then we have Hellhound, our boy Hellhound. So 
I mean, this type of gear, I think it's really achievable. Don't you guys agree? Like, look at this. Just more than 100% crit rate, right? But base speed, basically base speed, you don't need any speed on the Hellhound because your stun is gonna be from the counter-attack Valkyrie puts, right? And you're just gonna make sure he has enough accuracy. Don't worry about speed. Preferably, you want no speed. You want zero speed on this champion, all right? Uh, his sleep is gonna be from the counter attack. And if we talk about, can any of these champions be replaced? For sure, right? Um, I think Duchess can be replaced. You can use a revive death on a uh, revive on death champion. That's gonna work for sure. And then Valkyrie, I don't think Valkyrie can be replaced. If you want to use the Hellhound strat, Valkyrie is irreplaceable because she can do a massive shield. That's how your Hellhound is gonna survive. Hellhound didn't die a single time uh, after the massive AoE. Hellhound always survives. Valkyrie is gonna put a massive shield and a counter attack on the Hellhound. And Raiho, I think Raiho sometimes is gonna die on my team setup at least. All right, and then we have uh, Arminger. Arminger. All right, so Arminger can be whatever damage dealer, preferably Acrisia. Right, Acrisia is just a superior, superior choice. And I feel like if you are using Duchess, right, you can definitely like go with um, go with Brimstone, right? Definitely go with Brimstone. Like, yeah, just go like this. All right, and uh, that's basically it. Uh, you guys can build your own team. Uh, you don't have to like have the exact same stats or exact same team setup. This is just an idea of how to beat stage 25 using Hellhound. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a run. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the video soon.